Já, held ég þér að hlusta á Harma Keddon og við erpurum erum hérna í gasklefanum með góðum gesti frá Kúpu, hún heitir Irma González og er hérna á ferðalagi um Norður Evrópu, Skandinavíu og á Íslandi til þess að vekja aðtikli og málstað já, The Kúpan Five eins og það er kallað í fjölmölum það er kannski ekki verið mikið talað um þetta á Íslandi en faðurinnar er einmitt einn af þeim Rene González sem er í haldi hjá pandarkjumannum fyrir myndar njósnir og við ætlum að spjalla við hann að fá til að hann að segja okkur hans á þessu Welcome to the program, Irma and uh, maybe just you start off by telling us the background of the story um, uh, about your father and the, and the coupon five for the listeners that don't know Well, uh, it's, a, it's a very long story mm. uh, Right now um, the relatives of the five and the whole Cuban people is just trying to raise awareness about the case of the Cuban five Really, they were arrested in 1998, so it's been 12 years, it's going to be 13 years in September. Uh, they were arrested in Miami, uh, and since then they have been suffering from their violations of all their legal rights and human rights. They were in Miami <coughs> infiltrating <coughs> terrorist organizations that live and organize in Miami to hurt the Cuban uh, system with terrorist actions like bombs in hotels, in airplanes, the fumigation of of uh, crops and dis um, diseases uh, in Cuba. And these terrorist actions have cost the life of more than 3,000 people and have disabled more than 2,000 of them. So uh, it's, a, it's a very long story. Mm -hmm. um, the, these terrorist deeds uh -huh. uh, is uh, it's not something you hear about a lot in the Western media, but this has been going on in Cuba for uh, what decades or yes is um it's true you don't hear about it mm -hmm. uh but it's uh, it's true uh since 1959 when the beginning of the revolution there were many people in cuba that were very rich they own cuba and they went to miami with all the Q the money from the country they took all the money and they organized in miami and since then they have many organizations that have been getting together to make these terrorist attacks but you don't hear about it in the mm -hmm. media so, uh, of course, the U.S. government knows about these organizations and uh, they didn't do anything to stop them. So the only way the Cuban people had to prevent this from happening was with, men's, well, with, with men like these five. Like they were infiltrating these terrorist organizations just to know when these attacks were going to happen and prevent the Cuban people. Mm. <laughs> Are these U U.S. citizens that uh, uh, were doing these terrorist acts? Oh, some of them U.S. The citizens and um, Cuban Americans citizens mm. that left Cuba in the in the '59, yeah. in 1959. Yes, but they but have since then uh, got U.S. citizenship and. Yes, some yes, 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 yeah. and some of them were born there because some of them are the yeah. offsprings of this. Cuban Americans that went to Miami, they they still uh they they claim that that they still own the the the, the places uh, where they live that they own before the revolution, where many people in Cuba is living now. So they claim that they when they throw down the rev overthrow the revolution, they will go back, and they will claim uh, their properties. Mm -hmm. uh, and this is mostly for what they are fighting for. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, like, they are uh, is uh, these are terrorist organizations that have gone on TV publicly, uh, publicly on TV, and they have said that they are in war against Cuba, and the the people that have died uh, because of these uh, terrorist attacks, they were just in the wrong place at the wrong moment. Uh, so they go, they 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 do this, and they walk in Miami freely. They even went to the the trial of the five, uh, one of them dressed in camouflage. Mm. to provoke the five. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, w when I was in Cuba in 97, there were some uh, bombs that went off. I think they prevented, the mm -hmm. Cubans prevented them mm -hmm. from bomb from blowing up, but mm -hmm. there was one at least that killed uh, Italian tourists. Yes, yeah, that was Fabio in 97. Um, <coughs> but so the charges that uh, the United States uh, prosecutor uh, claims is, is uh, espionage. They say it's, it's espionage, right? 
Well, uh, really, they were trying to charge them with espionage, but it was impossible for them to charge them with espionage because to be a spy, you have to have secret information from the from a government. Mm. And uh, officials from the Pentagon, even a general, testified in trial saying that it was impossible for them, the places where they were working, it was impossible for them to get any of this secret information or government information. Mm. So during trial, the prosecution decided to change the charges from espionage to conspiracy to commit espionage or another charge is conspiracy to commit a crime against the United States because mm. like they didn't do they, they didn't commit a crime or they didn't commit espionage then they will they were charged with conspiracy mm. so is some is kind of saying uh, we think that someday you will commit any of these crimes so they were not like spying on the government the no. US government they were spying on these individuals that yeah. that they were believed to be uh, in, uh, in, in these terrorist organizations the yeah, anti-Cuban you can say that yes but yeah. so they cannot be charged with spying mm. uh, and uh, in spite of that they have uh, the same uh, sentences of well-known uh, spies in the United States mm. and uh, even more because just recently a Russian spy was captured in the United States and he was immediately immediately deported back to the mm -hmm. to Russia mm. so this is not uh, this, this was not a case or a trial against these five it was a, it was a trial against Cuba because mm. uh, it looks like terrorism <coughs> is bad anywhere, but when it is against Cuba and we're trying to prevent it, it's good. So mm -hmm. that's basically And, and what, what was your father's sentence? 15 years. 15 years. 15 years. He's yes. been sitting now for 12, 12 years. Yeah, 12 yes. years. Yes. Yeah. So, so what happens when, uh, if they won't be free uh, uh, until that, mm -hmm. uh, you know, when they all return, or are some of them that they have longer uh, convictions? Well, there's one of them that if if uh, if this uh, solidarity campaign doesn't keep on, and if the U.S. government or uh, administration does not do what they're supposed to do, which is to release them, uh, there's one of them who's sentenced to two life terms plus 15 years, and the others uh, were just resentenced, but the, 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 the sentences are extremely large, and, and although uh, is uh, we say that it's, it's, uh, it's very hard to make justice now because they've been in prison for 12 years. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> they have been, they lost 12 years of their life. So there's no mm. way they can make justice, but they, they, they should release them. Mm. We have had the support, of, we, right now we have the support of many well-known personalities around the world. Mm. Nobel Prizes, uh, tw 12 Nobel Prizes, mm. presidents of many countries like the South African president, uh, Venezuela, uh, mm. Ecuador, Nicaragua, Brazil. From the and church, Desmond Tutu from from South Africa. He's yes, yes, uh, yes. And uh, uh, Jacob Zuma, the mm. president of South Africa. Mm. Winnie Mandela, the mm. former wife of Nelson Mandela. Mm. Um, and uh, so all these uh, all these uh, personalities, and also uh, the, the uh, uh, lawyers' guilds in within the United States. Yeah, mm -hmm. and yeah. also like the the thing that that that. Uh, uh, you know, put a light on it in in Iceland is of course that Sean Penn and Danny Glover yes. and Benicio del Toro oh and, yes. and from the entertainment mm -hmm. industry they yes, have yes. Been in the U.S. Yes, in the US Danny US Glover. Even Danny Glover went to see Gerardo, uh, the f uh, one of the five who's who has the largest sentence. Yeah. He's there, and um, is uh, even though we have all this uh this support, mm -hmm. and we know that the Obama's administration knows about this case we haven't had, had any answer mm. it's, it's like they don't exist exist and then the press in in the united states they they don't say the word mm. you see mm. the only articles we were able to put in the new york times were um were paid by mm. the solidarity mm. in in Miami, in in the United States, and mainly in Miami, because also the Cuban Americans that have just recently uh, go to the United States, they most of them support the case of the five. So the not the whole Cuban community in the United States has the same uh, ideas of these terrorist organizations. Mm. And also, like uh, Amnesty International, they have uh, criticized uh, the treatment of the, the Cuban five. Yes. Uh, some UN organ. Mm -hmm. I yes. can't remember exactly the, what the Commission of Human Rights yeah. and mm. of arbitrary detentions mm. and Amnesty International mm. has uh, had made two statements. The first one was regarding the visas of two of the wife, mm. uh, my mom and uh, Gerardo's wife, mm. uh, who are not able to go and visit them because they've been denied the visa, so they are 
prohibiting the spouses why, why are to they meet. Tonight, officially, what is the official well, um, reason? In the case of my mother, she was living in the U.S. when my father got arrested. Um, she had nothing to do with the case. Mm. And two years after he was arrested, when the trial was going to begin, the prosecution tried to uh, negotiate with my dad because he was a U.S. citizen, so he w they would lower the charges, he would uh, have lower sentence if he testified in court in against the other four. And like he didn't do it, then they arrested my mom and they put her in a in a uh, in a in a in a prison for immigration charges, and then they deported her <laughs> to Cuba uh, after two years after he was arrested. And then mm. they said that she entered the United States lying to the authorities, which is not true because she entered as uh, was claimed by my father, who was a U.S. citizen. Mm -hmm. And since then, she hasn't received a visa. And in the case of Adriana, which is Gerardo's wife, she has never been in the U.S. and she has uh, asked for the visa many times. And they said mm, they have uh, given different explanations. They said she's a possible immigrant or she's a danger to the United States security mm. and so on. Mm. But uh, then one other, other um, thing has come up that uh, in Cuba there's an uh, uh, American as a U.S. citizen uh, jailed for a cross, I think his name is, right? Mm -hmm. Mark Cross mm -hmm. or something mm -hmm. like that. And he's charged with espionage in Cuba. And some, somebody, uh, uh, so people, many people have uh, visions of, of maybe they, there could be some exchange there. Sure. And, and uh, is, it, is it correct that Jimmy Carter is in Cuba now yes. trying to negotiate? Yes, and in a press conference he said he's, uh, he supports the case of the Cuban Five and the release of the Cuban Five. He's just... Jimmy Carter, the former yes. president. Mm. Of so are, are you now hopeful in any way that this will resolve? Well, uh, the Cuban people, the Cuban government, we all are, are hoping for anything that could bring the Five back. This man, uh, who's really uh, a spy, He's in the U in Cuba. His wife have been able to visit him, mm. and uh, of course we we don't get an answer from the U.S. It's like the five they don't exist, except in the court of law where they have been denied all their legal rights. Mm. You see, so for us, it, um, uh, anything that could bring the five back to Cuba will work. Mm. <laughs> mm. Uh, these legal rights that they have been denied. Can you uh, uh, elaborate a little bit on that? Yes. Well, since the big, well, they were arrested and they were put in punishment cells for 17 months. Mm. When the maximum time you can be in a punishment cell is for three months in case of misbehavior in mm. Yale, you see. Which so the to total isolation. And yes, total yes. isolation. Um, I was in the US when my father was arrested and so me and my sister, we could not visit him uh, only a year after he was mm -hmm. arrested because he was in this punishment cell. Mm -hmm. That's just an example. And they have been put in punishment cell all together in the different states where they're staying uh, in, in prison with no explanations in several occasions. But also in the legal process, there are violations of their rights. For instance, uh, the trial took place in Miami, so it was not an impartial venue. Uh, um, uh, it's not a partial venue, not a good venue, and we asked the lawyer asked to move the trial to Fort Lauderdale, which is nearby, mm -hmm. and the judge said no. The issue mm -hmm. of terrorism could not be brought in trial, so it, that's the motive of mm -hmm. the five. Because the, the, the Miami court is, is is biased because of of like the Miami Cubans. Yes, and the <laughs> jury. How can a jury be uh, not be uh, biased uh, when when they live in the city of Miami, where these terrorists have also put bombs mm. in places where people are trying to uh, bring the culture of Cuba or musicians and art. Yeah, yeah. So. Like like yeah, like we we talked about this in in the show before that. When Buena Vista Social Club, they were mm -hmm. awarded um, the Latin Grammys. Mm -hmm. It was not possible to to have the ceremony in Miami. Yes. They had to move it to California, mm, yes. LA, or something yes, because there were bomb threats all the time. Yes, and when the Bam Bam, just a famous group in Cuba, went to Miami, it was uh, uh, people have to go and see them with a uh, mask so they would not be recognized because they were outside. And it's it's amazing these demonstrations that y y you see in Miami every day. Not from a lot of people, you see, because there is a growing community of Cubans who support uh, the the idea of normalizing the relationships between Cuba and the United States, which is a promise of Obama's administration prior mm -hmm. to his mm -hmm. election. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, Emma, we, uh, I, I, w one, one thing, maybe more, just uh, just short, um, uh, is it is it, could it be that like the United States government 
uh, more like yeah, the, the, the Cuban, the Cuban, um, uh, how do you say, like the lobbyist group of of Miami Cubans. Uh, they they should be getting desperate now because what you have seen we have seen kind of a revolution in the whole of South America mm -hmm. that uh, democratically elected uh, radical people have come to power yes. and 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 they haven't uh, United States haven't had the same uh, opportunity and 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 force to to uh, go through with with regime changes like they have done before like yes, in, in Chile, Chile and, yes. and 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 Guatemala before yes. and uh, Actually, of course, there was a military coup in, in, in Honduras. Yes. <laughs> and that's still on, kind of, you know. Yes, yes. Uh, but, uh, but in general, they, mm -hmm. haven't, they haven't been able to do, to change the ideas of the people and the governments of the mm -hmm. people. So, so isn't, isn't that the feeling that, that the Cubans have that, like, now finally you, you have, you, you're, on, you're seeing um, some, some kind of victory, you know. You have been struggling for all these years and... I think, uh, uh, of course, for for Cuba is 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 very nice to know that there are other countries now that are waking up, mm. you know, and not being neo colonies of the United States and have their own thoughts and ideas of progression and and economy uh, economic development. And of course, for us, that's that's very important because we've been isolated for many years. The United States have been created a wall, silence, and untruth and lies towards Cuba and uh, so now that uh, there are people that are, are able to go out and really know the mm. truth about Cuba is a uh, is and uh, not being alone uh, is a uh, is very is very f of course very good to know mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yes well we thank you very much for being with us here today and we hope that uh, these things will solve uh, get mm -hmm. solved with your father and the coupon five and uh, for people that are more interested, het af en op de Islandske, dat was het na Funtur, dat was er nog Funtur en Gonzalez, in mijn huis naar Mir en Kverviskutte, nu met 105, Kverviskutte 105, en dat was er klukken, klukken halvwachter. Klukken halvwachter, ik wil het. Ja, pleasure. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you. Thank you.